Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and well guys, today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about a blank diamond painting canvas because if you've been around on my channel, you know that I'm converting a heaven and earth design a cross stitch pattern onto a blank canvas into a diamond painting. I'll put a link to the playlist over there so you can see the entire process and how I went about buying this. But since I've started, I have gotten quite a lot of questions uh, about the canvas itself. Like where did you get your blank canvas and do you have any tips on where to get those? So today I have a video for you and this, as you can see, is a port glue blank canvas and um, the other blank canvases that are out there are double-sided adhesive, which means there's an opaque um, cover. The difference between the two is that port glue is much more forgiving. Look, this one came rolled like this but as I'm working on it I roll it like this and really no problems with rivers or anything like that so the big difference between poured glue and double-sided adhesive is that this is easier to work with and also you can see the the grids these are the the little squares over here while you're working so today I'm going to show you where you can order a blank canvas in a port glue and in a double sided adhesive and the one that I'm working on comes from Smith Beats which is a UK based diamond painting company and the reason that I went with them is because you can get custom port glue they also do double sided adhesive and you can get the drills as well so you get the entire package and well <laughs> For me that's really easy because of course you can order your drills elsewhere um, just so you know when you do a heaven and earth design cross stitch you need to get the canvas and the drills yourself just one point up front i know it's possible to get a blank canvas from heaven and earth designs as well i don't have that because they are based in the united states i'm in europe so for me cost wise I think that would be too much for me including the shipping uh, but definitely check them out I'll put links to all the companies in the description below this video guys so you can go and check out what works for you just know that this isn't an exclusive list it's just the three companies that I have ordered from and uh, have an inert design which is the main reason why <laughs> we need to get these blank canvases in the first place so this is smith beads this this is it's a, a sturdy material it doesn't have protection in the edges to prevent it from fraying as you can see but that's just a little bit this is the material it feels like a bit of those amazon kinds of plasticky sort you see it's a bit shimmering it does have a little bit of odor but not it, it just it was at the beginning now it's totally gone um, this one actually is a custom because for me look it's an 82 by 65 the other two that I'm showing you aren't exactly a custom the reason that I ordered the other two was because this took so long uh, there was all kinds of mix-ups with my order I think and um, it took so long to get to me that I got anxious and that's why I ordered the other blank canvases because I really wanted to start this project in December um, because we have a bed and breakfast in France and um, the winter time is off season for us so I wanted to tackle this large project in the winter time so, <laughs> so it just took too long for me to get to me so I ordered I went to Aliexpress and ordered some blank canvases just to be sure so the companies that I ordered from are Humfun 
Hum Fum and Ever Moment. Hum Fum is a double sided adhesive, which is the cheapest of all three, of course. And the Ever Moment is a port glue, and this was by far the most expensive one. Um, it's like the price of this one from Smith Beats and a double sided adhesive combined. So I'll show you the one from Hum Fun first. Let me put this to the side. So it came like this. Um, what I decided to do regarding my AliExpress orders they both are the same size, 70 by 90 centimeters, so they are quite large. Um, and I did that just to be sure that I had an overlap for me to work on. So it comes like this. Look, this is double-sided adhesive. As you can see, it has an opaque color. I'll open it like this. Look. Ooh, it's really, really sticky. Ooh, and it smells. Oh, no, oh my God. Okay, I just pulled off the stickiness because I feel this, but the stickiness is on here. So already we have a problem. <laughs> okay, that wasn't anticipated. Um, oh my God, oh wow, okay. So this canvas cost me 31 euros. So that really isn't that expensive for the size that it is. Okay, it looks like it looks like this. Also, no scalloped edges to prevent it from fraying. Also, a really sturdy material like this. Okay, I'm going to be really careful. Oh, it really looks really nice, guys. Look. Oh, wow, okay, so no rivers or bubbles or anything, so that's really great. It came on a foam roller, like that, but it really is looking pretty good. And just so you know, I'll put it like this, just so you know, you've got three, look, one, two, three. So it's divided in three sections. I'm going to pull this off because I have a feeling that we've got a really big problem. Oh no, this is okay. Look, it looks like this. Oh, sorry. It looks like this. I'm not going to take the entire thing off. I must... The, the adhesive looks really, really great. It was just the edge, but just to compare it, guys, Look, Smith Beats has got blue lines for the grids. I really like that. And this is just gray. So everything, the, the, the grid lines, so the 10 by 10s, are a little bit darker, but there's barely a difference. And with Smith Beats, the grids are blue, and then the small, so the larger grids, the 10 by 10s, are blue. And then the other ones are, are gray. I prefer this, but this does look good, guys. Okay, be very, very, very careful. Okay, but this just, this is a problem. Look, I had just taken the edge off. You see, there's a little, you see that? Okay, now it's, now it's on there. But um, that's a bit of a problem with these cheaper kind of canvases. I need to make this straight again. I had just pulled this off on the side, guys. Okay, so this... I'm going to be a bit careful with this. Yeah, okay, that will work. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, price-wise, this one's really interesting. 70 by 90 from Hum Fun. And you can just, it's really easy to order from them. Uh, this is a big one, guys, 70 by 90. But I must say, the quality of a double-sided adhesive, it's really, there are no, look, 
Oh. Look, no rivers or bottles, so the, the, the canvas comes in pristine condition. It's just a little corner. Okay, I'm going to roll it back up, guys, because I'm not using this anytime soon. The one that I'm really excited to show you about is Evermoment. Look, guys, it comes like this. That already looks amazing. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out. And I must say, it came really, really quickly. The whole reason that I ordered these extra blank canvases was because Smith Beats took so long. Uh, the hum fun took long as well, but look guys. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, this is next level custom. Look. You've got scallop edges that are seared to prevent it from fraying. It's a soft lint cloth that we're used to from all the premium companies and okay <laughs> i already know what my favorite one is look wow okay and this is a 70 by 90. okay guys <laughs> if you want to order a custom or a blank sorry if you want to order a blank Port glue canvas. <laughs> this is the one that I would recommend. Um, but it is the most expensive. So just so you know. Oh, and what also is the case is this one is black. Look, all the grids are black. So I have a slight preference to work on, I think, Smith Beats with the little blue line. I think that actually is a plus because it makes it easy to see where your 10 by 10 ends. But guys, the quality, this just feels like a premium company diamond painting. Wow. So this is a 70 by 90 and I paid, wait for it, 80 euros for this one. 80. Okay, 80. This one, which is also pretty nice and it's more budget wise, but okay, less uh, friendly to work on, um, was 31 euros. So, okay, there's a huge price difference. And this one, from Smith Beats. I think when you order it, because I ordered it with drill, so I don't know the cost of the um, of the port glue diamond painting separate, uh, but I think it will be somewhere between um, the port glue from Evermoment and this one from Humfun, but I do think it will be closer to the one from Humfun. So this and it's a 70 by 90 guys and when you go to Evermoment you go to the store on AliExpress and then you send them an email so you contact them you get the contact information in the top and then you send them an email and say okay I want to order a blank port glue diamond painting canvas and then they'll tell you the way to go it's really easy and they are really quick um, oh, let me just show you one more thing. With this one, the glue actually starts, well, just a little bit over the start of the grid, but really, a really small line. So that's great. With this one, please let me not peel. With this one, it starts, as you can see, there's, about, there's an area over here. And there's an area over here that's still sticky. So with this one you really need to put some washi tapes on the edges <laughs> just so it doesn't stick to your clothes. And then with the this one from Evermoment you also have an area, look, that's still sticky. Look, you see? So 
So there are some pluses regarding this one that I'm working on actually right now because I really love the fact that the glue just starts where the grids start and I like the blue lines. Also it's a Europe based company and, um, and I love that I was able to get the whole package together. Uh, the only problem for me with Smith Beats was that it took way too long to get to me but they uh, I have talked to them about them and they said that they have changed um, companies that help them with shipping and things like that so they promised to do better so I hope <laughs> you will profit from that um, okay this one well guys to be honest this one is my favorite and look you see if you see a little bit sparkle in the canvas itself yeah but you but you pay for this quality guys you pay for it uh, but it's worth it um i hadn't uh, i had heard that ever moment did a uh, blank canvases as well but i didn't know uh, i haven't seen one uh, on a channel yet um, so of course they do double-sided adhesive as well guys but the port glue I think this is really interesting and the quality is just amazing so if you want uh, to do a conversion and you want a premium quality canvas well let's just say the time you're going to spend working on it <laughs> will be worth every penny so Okay, of the three, my recommendation would be Evermoment, to go to Evermoment on AliExpress. Let me know your thoughts. If, you're, if you mind working on double-sided adhesive, is adhesive. Um, I did a really large double-sided adhesive project, guys, from uh, Diamond Painting Deutschland, my Josephine Wall, that was on a double-sided adhesive. And to be honest, the quality of, of this one the the way it is presented and it's absolutely the back no rivers at all so if you want to go for a double-sided adhesive this is a good one and guys it's a little bit more budget um, so that might be interesting because this and then on top of this the drills that you need to get it will be quite an expensive project and this one well this is the one that I'm working on actually right now I'm loving it. The stickiness is great. Oh, the stickiness. Sorry. <laughs> the stickiness on, of this one is really good. And the stickiness of this one. Yes, no problem with stickiness. All three of them. So the comfort of this one. Well, and all three company. No, sorry. All three companies have double-sided adhesive, but Hamfan doesn't have port glue. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, are you looking for a blank canvas? I hope this information was useful. Please know that there are other companies that do uh, port glue blank canvases. Um, but these are the ones that I have. Um, I'm going to put these two away because they are not part of my diamond painting stash detox um, but they will if, if you just keep them nice and stored well I can use them in the future um, but I'm just happy that I'm able to show <laughs> to show them to you so they serve a purpose right now um, the only once again, the only reason that I ordered these is because I was afraid that I couldn't start my project in time. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you like to follow along on, well, my diamond painting projects, like for instance this one, and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a follower. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye guys! Okay, then the one that I'm really excited about to show you is Evermoment. Oh! <laughs>
Thank you.